what's up? Welcome back to Secondhand Gameplay, where I'm covered in my own snot. Oh, goodness gracious, that is yellow. Ugh. Oh, God. I guess I'm glad I'm getting that out of my system, but definitely still getting over that sickness. Okay. It is almost 1 a.m., and... God. And I want to fill my uh, library of videos I've uploaded to com uh, contain more... Uh, sneeze. <coughs> oh, to contain more sneezes. No, I wanted to fill my library of uploads with more Halloween petrifying playthrough scarinesses. Petrifying playthroughs are the scary videos on this channel. And uh, Halloween, of course, is the best time for those. So, here we are. Uh, here's a little game I like to call Hard Demon King Arthur Fight Round 2. Um, most people know it as Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Super Ghouls and Ghosts, that's correct. See, I was right. I'm a little tired, a little bit of sick. But I'm ready to be scared. This game is uh, not strictly a horror game. It's a platformer action game. But it is definitely in the Halloween theme. And I'll play anything that fits the Halloween theme. If there's a game about dressing up, like you're, you play as a kid and you dress up for Halloween and you just trick or treat and shit, I'd fucking play that. It doesn't have to be scary. This is Halloween theme. Scary is just a bonus. This game, coincidentally, can still be pretty scary, despite not being a horror game. Because it's super fucking hard. I am not gonna beat this game. I can't even guarantee I'll beat level one. Oh my god. That is quite a bit of level. Quite a bit of ghouls. A lot of ghosts. Uh, but you know what? Uh, you ghosts, you know what I say to you? You zombies. Ragu is better than you. And Ragu is worse than the poo on my blue shoe. Ugh. I am already eating my own filth, my own excrement, my feces has re-entered my esophagus. Okay. So, oh, zombie dog can die. Okay, fire, fire, fire. Okay. Well, I'm dead. As you can see, this game is hard as dicks. And dicks can get pretty hard. I would know. I've held uh, at least one in my hand. It's my own. King Arthur's sporting some lance work here. Okay. Gotta be careful with my jumps. Okay. Jumpity, jump, jump, jumpity, jump, jump. Sorry, that's a... Th Tune to a Christmas song. We're not even there yet. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, fuck. Me. Okay. Well. Okay. Yep, that's right. Oh, wow. Yep, jumped right into that. Ain't that terrific. What? 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 I have never seen that before in my life. That wizard can eat my jizzard. Ugh. Alright, let's see what else we got for this guy. Oh shit, I'm knocking over all my shit. Oh my god, this is a fucking nightmare. This is like that nightmare that Bender has in Futurama where he sees a bunch of zeros and ones and he's like, Oh, Fry, I was having the worst nightmare. I, I was seeing a bunch of zeros and ones and I could have sworn I saw it too. And Fry is like, Bender, don't worry. There's, there's no such thing as the number two. It's funny, because there is such a thing as the number two. At least as far as I'm told. Alright, zombie dog, zog. I went to the Goodwill today, and as you know, I buy used items a lot. And I bought a whole bunch, not a whole bunch, like five or six. Um, that's a whole bunch for me. Uh, sci-fi novels, like relatively old ones, a few by Arthur C. Clarke, who I, I do like. I didn't find any by my one of my favorite sci-fi authors, Andre Norton, but Arthur C. Clarke uh, 
I believe he's the mind behind Space Odyssey. So, definitely some cool stuff there. I got Cemetery World. Hold on, let me pause real quick. I got Cemetery World, Tales from Planet Earth, Tales of Ten Worlds, uh, Dramocles, Imperial Earth, Realms of Wizardry, and the Annals of the Hichi. And the Annals of the Hichi, <clears throat> by the way, ties into the... I guess it's the Hichi Saga, or well, I don't know what, but it started with this book called Gate Gateway, I think it's called. What the hell? What happened? Oh my god, game fucking over. Anyway, I'll try that again, but... Um, it's, it's about this book called Gateway. Gateway? Is it Gateway? Hold on. Oh, I can't even see it from here. Um... Oh god, that's still that I don't know why I grabbed that rag, it's still covered in my snot. Okay. Um and Gateway, they actually made Gateway video games, which are like spin-off, I think they're like spin-offs from the actual books. Um they're like uh they're text and point and click based adventure games. Apparently where it's relatively difficult to die, like they're not high difficulty. Like I guess some of the puzzles are kinda high difficulty, but they're not like um Sierra Adventure games like, okay, you fuck this up, you're dead forever. Uh, what? Oh, shit, my tit. Get the fuck away from me. This, it's kind of lagging. What? Super Nintendo, you... Oh, shit. Ugh. My Super Nintendo is eating itself right now. Lagging out. That's a-okay, though. It's alright. You're old, you can do it, buddy believe in you. Okay, I do not believe in my own skills. I never played the Gateway series, I just, this is just what I've read. I do own Gateway 2, the second game, which is taking place between two of the books, I think, and, um, I, I've never played it, even though I own it, because it won't run on my computer. I need to try and run it on my really old laptop from, like, 1992 or some shit. It's an old IBM. I gotta run it on that because now that I have one of the, I have the final book, Annals of the Hichi, and we're gonna run right past this. No shitting on me. I don't want to be shat on. Oh, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, okay, we can finesse this. We can do this. Uh. Oh my god, we actually did that. We accomplished our goal. Damn it, dog. Just get eaten by a lance. Damn it. You know, I just uh, got a wolf in Minecraft while playing today, so it's only right that I tame one wolf and another fucking rips King Arthur to shreds. Speaking of King Arthur, Throne of Eldraine, Magic the Gathering. Oh, I need to get the Oathsworn Knight or whatever he's called, because he's the Black Knight from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Did I just get 200 points for breaking that vase? Is this just collateral damage for extra points? King Arthur is apparently not a benevolent king. If you have not played the iOS version of this game that is no longer available, I believe, you should, because you can play as... I think it's Lancelot, and he and King Arthur both have different stats, so it's cool. I like that in games, where they give you a little bit of variability. Alright, wolf. Uh, uh, eh, eh. Ooh, ooh, dodging, dodging, dodging. Call me Alexander Hodgins. What's his name in Bones? What's Hodges? Oh, fucking. Go fucking. Oh, oh, no, I just got the bow and arrow. No. This game is not fair. This game's not fair. This game's just not fair. Wow, what in shit was I talking about? Gateway? Anyway, Gateway, check out the books. Um, I'll try this one more time. I'll go for one more, uh, until one more game over. This is, uh... This has to be a tedious game to complete. 
I haven't been telling a lot of stories lately because I've been so scared during Clock Tower that I've just not been telling stories. I don't know why I grabbed the money. Money is points and points doesn't mean shit. Hey, we kept the bow and arrow. All right. That is something. Ugh. Okay, it seems to be much, much weaker. Oh, I'm trapped, aren't I? But he's dead, so... Tickle my taint, you bitch! Alright. Yeah, 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 shoot a dog. Wouldn't be the first time a Floridian shot a dog. I guess what this does is it splits the power of his lance between the two attacks. So if you're up close enough, it's a, it's pretty much the same, but... I've got to be careful with my... Eh, with my... No! I haven't been telling a lot of stories because I've been busy getting scared out of my damn ass. Um, so let me tell a story. Um, I might have said this before, but in case you didn't know, I was born with pituitary dwarfism, which I have luckily overcome. Oh, fuck. I don't know why I just did a double straight jump. Basically, it means that my brain wasn't producing human growth hormone. Mo, fuck. Growth hormones, so I wasn't growing. Uh, I'm proportional. It's just I was I was gonna be super short, um, because I just my brain wasn't producing growth hormones. So um, I underwent a lot of treatment for that. I I think I several thousand uh, or no maybe just over a thousand injections. No, it has to be several thousand. It has to be several thousand. I basically took a shot, like a needle, to inject those hormones every day for like 11 years. From the age of like 4 to 15. Um, but there were a lot of other steps in between too and parts of, to the process. A lot of other supplementary medicines. Um, this does not shoot down, does it? Well, that's okay. Haha. <laughs> um... And a lot of tests run too. I basically, I, I had so many growing pains because my body was just growing and accelerating at such a fast pace, unlike this damn lag. Okay, well yeah, that seems cool. Yeah, lag me out, game, that's fair. All right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm good enough anyway. Ha, I got the money, I got the money anyway, even though I said I shouldn't. Okay, and so one day I was having these horrible growth pains because my body was just accelerating way faster than it's really meant to. And um, so the pain was super bad. I'll try this out. Yeah. Okay, that works. That's much more powerful at least. It appears to be. I don't know. Who knows? Who, who, who even knows, right? Let's just kill the wolf. Let's be patient. Patience is a poo. Oh, is that game over? That's yeah, game over. All right, I'll finish the story. And um, so I had these huge growth pains, like paralyzing pains. Like I was skateboarding, I remember, and uh, and I'm terrible at skateboarding, and, and this is probably why. And all of a sudden, my leg locked up, and I couldn't move it because of how like how hard it hurt. So I like dragged myself inside and laid down on a bed for like a day straight. And they brought me in, and I, I had to do an MRI to like look at my leg and see if it was either like a they thought it was a, uh, a torn meniscus, but um, it ended up just being the growth pains. Like, it was that bad. Like, they actually thought that I ripped my kneecap fluid skin stuff open because of how, like, fucked up my leg was. And it was actually just, like, my muscle spasming that hard due to growth spurt, I guess. And so they brought me into this MRI. I'm, like, <sighs> I don't know, nine, maybe? Eight? Nine? And I'm scared out of my mind. I hate needles because at the age of eight or nine, I'd already been taking daily injections for four or five years. That shit's fucked. I hate needles now. Um, naturally, I try to avoid them. And so I'm, I'm getting in this MRI. And of course, you need needles for the MRI. I think that's how, they, how it works is they inject you with dyes so that they can bounce the protons off the dye in your body and your blood so they can get a good view of you. 
and uh, something like that. I don't know, I'm not a Scientologist, but they need to inject you with a bunch of fucking needles, or at least they did for me, and you also have to stay still for hours, or at least I did. I don't know. I'm sure that the treatment, or the, the scan, varies person to person, and, and, you know, medical history to medical history. And my mom was very nice. She obviously took the day off work to take me, and she sat there with me for like a few hours while they're scanning me and read me Goosebumps books while I just laid there motionless. And then I remember them having to get in like two people to hold me down while a third person was injecting me. I got stuck with like four needles and they had to hold me down and I'm just like, I'm like crying my fucking eyes out um, while they hold me down on this bed and inject me. Um, it was something out of a fucking asylum horror movie. Um, but then my mom took me for McDonald's and bought me a deck of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. It was the Red Eyes um, theme deck with Red Eyes Black Chick. Um, I think later she also bought me the Inferno theme deck with that Infernal Fire Lord Ozai card. Um, so she was a very loving mother. Uh, shout out to mom. Mom, if you're listening, you probably don't remember any of that, but I do love you. So, all right. Well, that was a petrifying playthrough indeed. I lost super bad. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll pick up with some more Clock Tower next time on Secondhand Gameplay.